You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time now for the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris sliding into the studio at the oh, last second. Yeah. <laughs> Stepping up to the plate and you thought going, we couldn't start without you. We are knocking it out of the park. <laughs> so how you doing here, Mr. Ferris? I'm doing pretty darn well. Pretty gosh darn exciting day, historically speaking, too. Oh, wow. What's going it was on? this day, eighteen hundred, Washington, DC is officially established as the capital of the United States of America. You know what it was originally called? I don't. Federal City. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that really? sounds federal. very Batman. Can you imagine like. living in Federal City? It sounds. You're right. That's almost it does. Gotham-y. It does. It's, it's cool. Gotham-y. Yeah. They Let's go back kept to that. that. And uh, George Washington did not like the fact that they wanted to call it Washington D.C. He didn't like that. He, he didn't like, want nah, it named nah. after Federal City. He's a pretty humble guy for a yeah. super stud. I'll yeah, tell you was. what. I think so. Uh, and he obviously wouldn't sit for his uh, for his statue. That Washington Monument looks nothing like the guy. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it's just a big tall. <laughs> Spike sticking out of the ground. Yeah, another huge moment in our world, anyway. The world of radio. You know him, you love him. Greg Limoro Marconi. Oh, yeah. Marconi, this day in 1901, sent the very first transatlantic radio signal. Yeah. Yup. It was an ad That's for cool. a tire sale or something, wasn't it? No, he was asked for caller number seven to dial in and get <laughs> tickets and backstage passes to uh, share. share his farewell concert. <laughs> Pretty darn happy about that whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for thanks for that little update, Dan. No problem. Hey, kids, just drop out of school. You'll get everything you need to know right here. <laughs> don't, do, don't do any of that. But don't touch your dial. We'll be back with Ranger Dan in just a bit on Sunny 93.3. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Are you ready? If you plan to use a credit card while shopping, make sure you have the very best credit card for you. It's free to click around and see what we can do for you at bettercreditcards.net. We have options from many different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time right now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Good morning, Ranger, 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 Ranger Smalls, John <laughs> Heidi. Hey. How are you? Good. You're fantastic. Oh, Radio Rangers at home, gather around your radio, get a little critter knowledge here from your old buddy Ranger Dan. Been doing a while now, and got to say, I've had worse jobs. I kind of, kind of like this. Get, just, get, <laughs> getting together with you and your mom, your pa, your brother, sister, dog, whatever the case may be. It's <laughs> warm in here. Yeah, it's it's cold when you go outside. But Coast it's... I'll tell you what, if it weren't for a uh, sterno Ranger Dan, I don't know, I'd live out in the open like that. <laughs> Great thing about sterno, you can strain that through. Through white bread and get yourself a little, <laughs> little magic elixir. <laughs> I don't encourage that. <laughs> you know, Ranger, Ranger, we were finding out a lot about reindeer that time of year, of yeah. course, and everybody's fascinated by that. Santa Claus from the North Pole and reindeer. We'll be giving you some actual facts about that. And here's a few more kind of amazing facts. The name reindeer actually comes from the Norse or Nordic word, high rain, meaning reindeer. <laughs> Well, that is quite helpful. Boy, there's an there's an icebreaker. No. Self invited to a dinner party. <laughs> lay, lay that on him. That's, that's Norse. Oh wow, it's like they have a different word for everything. Now everybody focuses on Rudolph because he's got that gleaming red nose. But here's a fun fact about reindeer noses in general. Reindeer are uniquely capable of living in harsh and extremely cold environments. One of the reasons is this. Their noses actually warm the air before they breathe it into their lungs. Really? 
holes. So their lungs don't freeze. Well, that is fascinating. Reindeer are full of awesome powers, and that's all there is to it. Which brings me to this. Got the first reviews coming in on one of Ranger Dad's brand new products. It's time for the holidays. And, of course, the recent release, Reindeer Root Booster Twig and Berries Male Enhancement Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Made from 100% organic, totally artificial reindeer glands and 67% alcohol by volume. <laughs> Fellas, here's the thing. I understand your concern, but your first order is a 30-day supply, as these things can take time. <laughs> <laughs> Also, a lot of those maybe not so positive side effects, including the blindness situation, is temporary. So keep your powder dry and just stay with the program. Uh, that's all the time we have Ranger Dan this morning, little Radio Rangers. If you're going to buy your own Reindeer Root Booster Mail Enhancement, you get parental permission up front, please. We'd appreciate that. This is Ranger Dan telling you to stay in school, go to church, say your prayers, eat your vegetables. Don't be playing soccer. And don't let me catch you wearing Crocs. Ranger Dan, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Again, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner on Sunny 93.3. If you have a drug problem, don't let it ruin your life. You can be in treatment as soon as tomorrow, and you can start to get clean in as little as seven days. Take the first step to get drugs out of your life at timeforrehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything, so you really have nothing to lose. Timeforrehab.com. Start your new life. You deserve it. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Mr. Dan Ferris over here with some news. It's making him smile. This must be good. It's not smile, actually. You know, I had... Yeah, I had my choice of stories on this thing, and I decided to go with this just because it's. I can go down either I way. I heard something about this. I don't know the <laughs> details. So okay, uh, Christy Nome, she's the governor of the state of South Dakota. Yes, yes. actually, the very first female elect governor, nice. also, which, yes. is, which is kind of neat. Uh, some people like any politician, some lovers, some yep. not so much. Yeah. So there's been hubbubbery. If you uh, you may be aware of this, she brought uh, one of her daughters on board. As, yeah. as a member of her staff. Yep. She got elected. Now the big deal is the big story is her daughter apparently got another raise. So this is all about do re mi. Oh, okay. The other part of this is when, when Christy came out. And I call her Christy because we almost kind of had coffee together once. So <laughs> we're pretty tight. Tight, yeah. We're pretty tight. So um, uh, last week she came out and did the, the whole... The budget, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which isn't, I mean, it's like what she feels the upcoming fiscal year budget should be. That doesn't right. mean it's going to be enacted or executed. It's like, here's what I'm thinking. What say you, legislature, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, right. et cetera. Uh, there's a huge downturn in, in tax revenue for the state over the past year. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, I want to say over $20 million. That's that a was, big deal. That was not seen. So uh, teach pay is going to be affected according to her budget. Again, nothing's been implemented yet. Meanwhile... State employees, it's like an annual thing. They will get a cost of living pay raise. So, this last July, state employees received 2.5% pay raise. Her daughter, Kennedy Nome, great name, by the way. Yeah, it is a great name. Okay, works for her mother as a policy analyst. Another big hike in Kennedy Nome's salary has taken place since July. Coincidentally, it's about that time. And, oh, hey, by the way, thanks to whoever this was at Kello that wrote the story, and I'm just <laughs> taking it. I'll send you a little something in the mail. <laughs> Sure you will. So Kennedy's salary started out at about $40,000. Then within a year's time, it's nearly $60,000. So that's a pretty big hike. Yeah. You know, why that is, how that is, what she does exactly, I don't know, but people are up in arms over it because nepotism, blah, 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 blah. I get that. But this is the part that really surprised me because I literally really don't care who makes what. I, I mean, I don't. It's yeah. It's usually none of my business, but these are public sector people. They're elected officials. Sure. So. Yep. Christy, you know, the governor's salary for the state of South Dakota is like 116000 bucks a year. Okay. That's it. Think of it this way. If you want a touchstone on that, Mayor of Sioux Falls is closer to 130000 So Holy, you get paid more to be the mayor than you do to be the governor? You do. Huh. And if you really want to have some fun, and it's also right, listening to the governor, you get a house to live in too, right? Is there a governor's? Oh, there's some perks. Yeah. Sure, there's some perks. But to me, an executive position running an entire state, that seems that seems, that seems pretty chump change I to me. I think so, too. Huh. I so, wonder how that compares to other states. 
I that would be easy enough to find out. I'm but, guessing. But I noticed you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John. <laughs> Perhaps I've mentioned this in passing before. <laughs> Being a hard-hitting, gritty investigative reporter doesn't mean I actually do anything. Or... <laughs> but included in this story on, on, on Kelloland is the entire list of city employees and what they make. Oh. That's where the stunner comes in. Because okay. over the years, I've, I've got, I know a lot of these people. Yeah. And I'm not judgmental again. I don't care. But I look at some of these salaries and I go, <laughs> wait, 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 For I, what I, they do? I know him. <laughs> well, we just hired a new, uh, a new city employee here, too. The person in charge of... Uh, uh, drum circles and burning man competitions. What, the what culture, 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 yeah. Manager. Yeah. What exactly yeah. will they be doing? Uh, being in, being hey, cultured. You are an uncult- uncultured swine. Um, apparently, and I'm yeah. totally okay with that. So well, it's basically put into place for better retention. Yeah, keeping employees. Kind of cut okay. down on the attrition rate because it does. It costs small fortune to onboard somebody. To oh, yeah. Pretty much any company anymore. Yeah. So even so more when it's an entity like a city. So they're trying to nip that in the old bud. Nice. So uh, and I can remember it was a uh, late '90s. I believe my salary got published in the Argus Leader, and I was furious. Oh. That's a true story. I came unglued. It had to do with a lawsuit and blah, 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 and everybody was having a really lot of fun, and I <laughs> lawyered up, and it was public file, and I was, you know, I was a media guy. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, I was just about to become a washed-up child star. Oh, you okay. weren't quite washed up yet. Okay. And so one of the Argus people, uh, Bob Keys, is my thing, was Bob Keys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, published story, and uh, there was my salary. And I'm going, you you must be kidding me. Oh, wow. I was real un- unhappy about huh. that. I would have been, too. Who wants that? Yeah, because all of a sudden, there. everybody knows I'm filthy rich, and everybody wants <laughs> yeah, something. Everyone's knocking on your door. <laughs> I think I'm your half-brother. Neighbor <laughs> <laughs> kid. Keep stiffing this neighbor kid so for then, lemonade. So I have a tent city on my estate. <laughs> Turns out you got money for lemonade after all, Dan. <laughs> you got lemonade money. You didn't even tell oh. me. That was kind of brutal. Yeah. Well, yeah, I bet. Keep, uh, keep your eye on that story and let us know what happens there, Dan. Yeah. But again, Chrissy, it, it's her daughter. But if I'm the governor and I'm only making like 116, I'm going to make sure my kids are like getting greased somehow on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's, yeah. I'm I back her play on that whole that thing. Much. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, I'm for it. Thank you for that report, Dan. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Appreciate it a bunch. <laughs> You're listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour on Sunny 93.3. The average household has thousands of dollars in credit card debt. If you find yourself in that position and you're making minimum payments, you could be in debt for a long time. Make sure you have the very best card with the very best rates at bettercreditcards.net. We work with different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net, bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. Dan, how would you like to win $10,000? I wouldn't say no, John. Heidi, what would you do if you won $10,000? I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Heidi's out uh, shopping, apparently. Uh, for those of you who don't know, John and Heidi are married. And yes, we are. I kind of sit between them, and I'm like, Mommy, Daddy, no. <laughs> Mommy, well, Daddy, no. Well, if you'd like to leave your husband for just ten thousand, <laughs> no. We uh, tonight. There's a really cool thing that it's a new location and a new night. And yeah, it's tonight been going on for first. a while. Yeah. yeah, it's been going on for a little over a month. Uh, it is uh, Sweet Fisher. For those of you who don't know Sweet Fisher, first of all, I got to tell you, he's one of the nicest dudes ever. Super nice, just kind heart. But he was a boxer for he's many, a, many he years. He was a really good boxer. Yeah, very good boxer for many, many years. And uh, you know, he had a lot of uh, bouts that he got to fight in the ring, and now. Now he's helping people who are fighting their little bouts of cancer or other debilitating issues, helping raise money for medical bills. And he set up this nonprofit. And this is the amazing thing. He raised this money himself. It was pretty astounding. Yeah. He went out looking for sponsors and he said, hey, this is what I want to do. And people were like, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. You know, this doesn't make sense to me. And he's like, it makes sense to me. So he busted his tail working overtime, getting, you know, funds set aside so he could do this. And he's. He socked away over $10,000 so he would have money to give away. And I'm like, that is crazy. You raise all this money just to yeah. give it away. But it's crazy in a good way. He's, again, kind heart, super nice guy. If you get a chance, come and join us tonight. The event, uh, it's it says from 4 to 6 p.m., 
But what you need to understand, you don't need to be there that whole time. The actual game will start at 6. Get there early. He starts selling tickets early. But get there early so you can buy raffle tickets. The money that comes in, that money is going to help uh, some people that are struggling with medical bills. And you can be a part of it. And you'll have a chance to win $10,000. He has a game similar to Deal or No Deal, but it's called Making Sweet Dreams Happen. I've got a link with more information about this on our Facebook page, but here's the thing that you need to know. It's tonight. It happens at 6 p.m. at J.J. Billiards. I've never been there. I'm going to be there. First time ever. I'll check it out. That same building that's gas, uh, Gaslight Bar yeah. and then J.J. Billiards. Yeah. West 12th Street, uh, like 12th and Elmwood. Uh, but if you get a chance, join us there tonight. Uh, the event starts at 4, gets done at uh, a little after 6. But if you're there, you know, quarter to 6 at least, and you'll be able to get some raffle tickets and have a chance to win $10,000 all the details at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio. If you can't have a drink without it leading to another drink and another drink, maybe it's time to get help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at TimeForRehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's time for rehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities are fabulous. fabulous. Hey, I know sometimes I get a little snarky. I might throw a little shade, might do a little clap back, but I only do it because I love <laughs> hey, this is a great story. All right. And I have a long history with this particular superstar. Okay. She's from down under. You know her. You love her. Olivia Newton John. Yes. Oh, You're okay. the one that I want. Da 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 da. <laughs> but I was a big fan of her after her very first hit, the first time I saw her on television. I was in my late teens, I believe, and, and every year like clockwork. It was a huge competition between her and Linda Ronstadt at the time. Oh, really? But I would send them both invitations to my birthday party in August every year. Oh. I didn't know they were direct, because, you know, there wasn't this internet or anything, so I would just like write their names on an envelope, put a little <laughs> card in there. I, I just figured they're important enough the post person. Post knows where they're at. They know where the letters go. <laughs> right. yeah. So they probably and and I tell my friends, hand. hey, I invited Linda and uh, you know, Olivia, so <laughs> might want to make the scene. I didn't say they were coming. I said I invited them. I invited them. You should probably be there. So it was a thing. So <laughs> You're going to look silly if you don't show. <laughs> but here's the deal. There was a huge auction uh, recently, and the biggest momentum, the biggest item, and it was all sanctioned by Olivia Newton-John, it was the famed jacket she wore in Greece. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Where she comes strutting out onto the little carnival grounds there in those, yeah, in end, yeah. that jacket. Anyway, anonymous bitter coughed up about a quarter mil Holy cow. for that jacket, all of which is earmarked for the Olivia Newton John Cancer Wellness and Research Center. She's been she's been fighting the good fight against cancer yeah. for a number of yeah. years, as a matter of fact. Well, strangely enough, it is back in her possession. Oh, nice. The anonymous bitter. Gifted it back to the actress. Oh. And he sent an anonymous note along with it. Quote, What did you say in your note? I didn't. This jacket, (laughs) this jacket belongs to you and the collective soul of those who love you and those for whom you are the soundtrack of their lives. It should not sit in a billionaire's closet for country club bragging rights. For this reason, I humbly and respectfully return it to its rightful owner, which is you. Nice. Oh, that's wonderful. That, I love that. And that will be displayed at the uh, Olivia Newton John Cancer uh, Wellness Research Center. How so great really is nice that? Yeah, did. that was really, really nice. I used to call her Olivia Neutron Bomb. Oh, nice. Because yeah. she blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that I love. <laughs> Let's get physical. Yes, please. <laughs> Well, thank okay. you. Thank you again for the update. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting more and more awkward every day, Dan. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? I'm kind of, kind of old and infirm, John. And <laughs> frankly, between me and you, I don't really care what I say. So, what did you? You're old and what? Infirm. Oh, you said unfirm. <laughs> that too. Google it. <laughs> He's got it all. Take your pick. Spraying right. leaks Thanks. left and right. <laughs> 
Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show <laughs> Bonus Hour on Sunny 93.3. We've got a Dear John letter on the way.